Hello everyone, today's quinceanera video is going to be how to redo a ramo. This is a ramo that I purchased at the thrift store if you saw my quince haul video. I told you I would be making a video on how to redo it. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this ribbon. So I'm just going to pull it off. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's just been super glued. So just go ahead and pull it off. Okay, so here it is without the ribbon. I'm going to get started now. Um, the first ribbon I'll be using is a sheer color with glitter. I got this at Michael's. You want to make sure you get the one with the wires. It'll make the ribbon stick out a lot nicer. So just go ahead and open this up and pull it all out. So here is one that I had opened previously. And what you're going to do is you're going to make loops with this ribbon. You want to make sure you have um, some down here. That way when you glue it, the ribbon won't be completely lowered. And you're really going to use the whole roll because you want it to go all over your drama. It's kind of like making multiple bunny ears. I'm just going to keep on doing this. So I just want to tell you guys to make sure you're checking out my website, myquinceanera.net, and follow me on Instagram. And if you have quince pictures you want me to post, go ahead and DM them to me. I love seeing all the quinceaneras from all over the U.S. Alright, so this is kind of what it's going to look like. You see how this string down here? Don't worry about that. We're going to cut it off later. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your ramo, and you're going to distribute these bunny ears that you made all over the rama, like so. You want to make sure they're lying flat face up. That way it gives your ramo more volume. So here is going to be the first layer of your ramo and what we're going to do now is super glue it to the base of this. So what you can do is use the extra, wrap it around, and now all you have to do is super glue it to hold this part of the ribbon in there. So we're just going to put glue all over this like it was before to make sure it all holds right in. Okay. That's the first layer, nice and glued together. Now I'm gonna take a different color ribbon. The next one I'm gonna be using is this light purple. It's a little bit thicker and it also has wire. That's really important to use in these, in these um, when you make these ramos. So I'm just gonna pull it all out of its packaging. Okay, and I'm gonna start again making the bunny ears. So you can kind of um, eyeball it as far as measurement wise. You should like to be really precise about something like this. Um, it just depends on what you like. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. Look at that. Okay, so that looks like a good size there. So I'm going to make the rest of the ribbon the same size. So I'm going to use the first layer of the bunny ear and just continue it on. 
Oh, you know what's funny? I have a bunny watch. And we're making bunny ears out of ribbon. That's cute. Perfect. And you see we'll have that extra piece of ribbon again. Now I'm just going to adjust it however I would like to see it. Taking one bunny ear at a time and placing it. Perfect. I love how it's turning out. Look at that, it's so pretty. So I'm going to use the tail end like I did last time and just wrap it around everything that I have. Just push it up as far up as you can and grab your glue gun and again you're going to glue this end here. Again we're going to grab the glue gun and just put some glue right where we want it to stick. Put a healthy amount. And just hold it tightly down. Okay. What you want to do is grab your glue gun and go between both ribbons and put some glue and glue it upwards. That way the ribbon doesn't look so separated from the first layer of ribbon. I'm gonna grab a pen and just push up. So I'm just gonna cut all this stuff right here down. is grab this really pretty purple ribbon and wrap it around the base. you're going to do is wrap it all the way back up and glue it. And there you have it. That is how you can redo a ramo with new ribbon. And there you go, girls. That's how you have it. That's how you redo a quinceañera ramo with ribbon. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to get more quinceañera videos. Don't forget to visit my website. I'll go ahead and put the link down below. Thank you, guys.